Urban Therapy with Sun Sun 752. And this is your daily go get em ism number 446. For December 23rd, 2015. Tonight, tonight, tonight. Tonight we're talking about making emotional purchases. Retail therapy, some people call it. When you're feeling bad about something, so you go out and buy stuff. Sounds like a plausible thing to do. It sounds like it's all right. You know, you had a bad day at work. Things ain't going right. Somebody getting on your nerves. Hit the mall. Go buy that new gadget you've been having your eye on. Spend some of that money you've been saving. See, that's when it's good. Some people do it too much, though. So, they shop till they drop non-stop. Shop till they drop. Do it non-stop. <laughs> as soon as shit come out, they about to cop. But no, they don't want to real. You know, when you when you are feeling down or whatever, or when you compensate for the things in your life that aren't going well with material items, it's a slippery slope. And it's a road to nowhere because you wind up putting yourself in debt a lot of times. See, it would be different if all the stuff that you buy, you buy it with cash. But that's not normally the way it goes. The way it normally goes is that we are using those credit cards. Sometimes we order more credit cards. We have store credit cards. And you know the interest rates on those store credit cards be high, man. So after you finish buying all this stuff, the question that needs to be answered is, has it remedied the problems that made you go out and buy stuff in the first place? Certainly, in more serious situations, taking it relationship-wise, if you break up with somebody that you were deeply in love with, yeah, you can go out and buy a new car if you want to. It's not going to fix nothing. It's not going to fill the void that's left in your heart. It's just not going to do that. Sure, you'll be whipping for a minute. You know, I mean, you might like the ride or whatever. But if you think about it, those are the actions of a crazy person. Every time things ain't going right in your life, you you go out and buy something new. Think about it. That, that, it don't sound right. Even if you're the person that does it, if you look at somebody else doing it, you might be like, yeah, I do the same thing. But at the same time, you're thinking, like, that ain't really right. I might need to check myself on that, you know? And we do need to check ourselves on that. We need to check ourselves on everything that we do. But particularly when, when, when we are trying to replace one thing with another thing. And really, those replacements aren't really replacing what we really need. Then we're going to have bigger problems than we started out with. See, we all need love, affection, attention. We all need somebody to tell us that things are going to be all right. And a lot of times we buy stuff so somebody can tell us that we are all right. But they're not telling us that we are all right because of what we have going on in here. They're telling us that we are all right because of what we got going on with this. I know it's only a little bit of mine. Yeah. But it's serious business. So if, if you're looking for praise, but you really want the praise from somebody that you that you really care about and that you wish really cared about you. When that doesn't happen for you, a new pocketbook ain't going to solve that. A new car ain't going to solve that. New rims. You know. Anything. Any of that stuff that we buy. New iPhone 6. Samsung Galaxy 6. All of that stuff. It's not going to It's not going to fix what's really wrong. Sometimes I think that we all need a shrink, man. But nonetheless. Until we get that, we have to learn how to control ourselves. And learning how to control control your spending is definitely um, the road to learning how to control yourself. And the better control you have over your emotions, the less mistakes that you make. Because if you're already feeling bad about the way things are going on, going on in your life, you don't want to compound that by being in debt, <clears throat> digging a hole of debt that you have to try to climb your way out of, dig your way out of. You don't want to do that. Think about it. Anybody who has been through the credit ringer knows that, man, it's, it's one of the hardest things to get back together. That is the Humpty Dumpty egg that the horses and men 
the king's horses and king's men just can't put back together. Well, not easily anyway. It's tough. But you can avoid all of that, especially the second time. Because if you've gone through the credit ring and you still haven't learned how to, you know, keep your money in your pocket and your credit cards in your wallet, well, you got to admit that there's a bigger problem at hand. If you need love, man, go, go find love. Go find real love. If you need affection, go find real affection. That's going to lead to love. You know? Get the things that you want. Now, don't get me wrong. Ain't nothing wrong with having nice shit. It ain't. But there's really nothing wrong with being able to pay for that nice shit. Instead of just going out and, and saying, I right, well, you know, I'll worry about that tomorrow. I needed this today. You know, we wind up having a garage sale of brand new shit. Because we done bought a whole lot of stuff that we couldn't afford. It ain't got to be that way. Find out the real problems that are going on in your life. And stop trying to buy your way out of life. And if you want, I mean, buy your way out of your problems. And if you want to buy your way out of your problems, buy your way into some self-discovery. Whether it's therapy, or whether you you learn how to self-medicate naturally, not with no pills and none of that craziness, man. I know we all got problems in our life. We got to try to remedy them. Good things happen to those who wait. Great things happen to those who grind. And anything can happen to those who go for theirs. So go hard, go for yours. And remember, retail therapy is not the way to go. It's only going to land you in more debt. Try to identify the real problems that are going on in your life. And take take baby steps. Baby steps to, to getting your, your, your train back on the track. And what I mean by baby steps is I mean... Things don't fall apart in your life all at once. And it's going to be hard to put them back together all at once. So, if your life didn't fall apart all in one day, stop thinking that you can put it back together in one day because you can't. But you can put it back together, so go ahead and do that. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to holler at y'all tomorrow. Oh, oh! The Take the Fall event. The Take the Fall event this Saturday. December 26th, the day after Christmas. Make sure y'all come through. Rittenhouse Street and West Hicken Avenue, 10 a.m. And y'all know it's going to be live out there. Yeah, it's raining on them days leading up to that. But I know we're going to be straight come Saturday. So make sure y'all come out and be straight with us, man. Let's have some fun again because you know to take the fall of it is that shit. Take the fall in the winter. How is y'all tomorrow? You know what I mean? Don't go out and buy nothing extra probably already overextended for this Christmas holiday peace